Cecilia Teka, the Chief Prince for Masai Girls. Uh, I've been here from the beginning of the year, 2023, uh, from Lemek Namanya Girls. Uh, it's, it's an honor to serve the girls of Kenya, and particularly the girls of Narrow County. Masai Girls is an extra county school, though the majority are from the locality, so we have majority of the girls, like 90% are Maasai. So clearly uh, the school has got 1,600 students, as we report, girls. And uh, as I've said, most of them are from Narrow County. So clearly that's an indication that the Maasai and if Narrow County have embraced education, it's no longer about coercing them to bring students to school. Uh, the fathers particularly have paid much attention to education of the girl child. Uh, we no longer have cases of pregnancy as it used to be. The county, the county has changed and currently we can report almost zero cases of pregnancy in a term. So this shows that uh, the community is ready to change and uh, embrace education because that's the way to go. Every person is directed that way. We appreciate that uh, a girl like Soipan from the locality has brought this change. She's a role model to the community from Leshota, a small village. So that girl is given hope that they can also make it from the small village of um, the farthest end of Narrow County that borders Tanzania, Oldergesi, Loita. We have girls from those areas. This is an indication that education is on another level. We have several girls who are being sponsored by Mama County. So as a role model of the county and our MP for Narok North is also a woman. Clearly this shows that women are empowered. So they are a motivation to the society and the girl child of the Maasai. So we appreciate, um, we appreciate the effort they are making to empower the girls. Yes, the county government supports girls' education. We have them sponsoring several girls through the, the bursaries. Uh, like this school got over 3 million from the county government through the MCAs. So that shows that uh, the county government is ready to help, to empower those girls. Even those ones who do not have school fees are able to get education. We can't, teachers alone cannot do this work. The parents must come on board because the discipline and formation of a child begins at home. So if a child gets the best formation from home, then it becomes easier for us to impact knowledge academically and also uh, mold them to be better people. As we speak, this term, 100%, all the classes are occupied, all the students are back to school, and whenever a girl is, does not report, we follow up to find out why she hasn't reported and if it's issues of fees, we allow the child to come to school as we deal with the parent to pay fees.